last movie in the Forgotten Gialli Volume 3 set from Vinegar Syndrome is Crazy Desires of the Murderer, which was released in 1977 and is all kinds of wonderful. We've got another proper Gialli here. We have a group of friends who are going to go and stay at one of their uh, friends' house or castle, mansion, whatever you want to call it. Um, her father is suffering from it seems Alzheimer's um, he is big into Chinese uh, culture she has brought him a vase uh, from her adventures around about the world of course she met up with a dodgy character who stuffed it full of drugs and wants it back uh, we are at this household with a group of crazed youngsters uh, some older characters and the servants within the house and there is going to be murders one specific murder uh, in particular. Now, I really liked a lot of these characters. They were all incredibly fun. They had their own type of identities. And I was waiting to see who was going to be the first to bite the bullet. And the first uh, death is particularly gruesome. There is um, a quick stabbing motion, spurts of blood, and then we get the awesome and yet disgusting uh, image of an eyeball being pulled out of the skull through a knife. It has a wonderful effect and kind of sets up the rest of the movie. And there's going to be a long period of time before the next murder happens in this, but it doesn't matter because we're introduced to an inspector, a person who's going to solve the murder, and he is a wonderful character. One of my favourite kind of characters comes in he seems to know everything already and he's just waiting for the clues to unveil themselves and he can pick out who the murderer is going to be. There is a wonderful sequence where he sits everyone down, interviewing them all, getting their points of view of what's happened. Then he gets them all together to clear up some kind of the information. Um, just as a quirky character, he's quite a big man. He's always walking with a walking stick, kind of, kind of limp. He seems to be on the ball and he's decided to keep everybody uh, in this castle over the next day or two to kind of reenact the events that they did to try and see if they can create similar circumstances for the murderer to murder yet again. And there is a side story of this young boy um, who's kind of locked in the dungeons of this castle um, who loves taxidermy He's a little bit odd, who was psychologically scarred when he was younger. And it's got lots of kind of things going on that I really liked about this one. I like the setting, uh, which was great. I already said I, I loved the characters. The inclusion of the inspector was just one of those master strokes. Felt very Columbo-esque, if you like that. You kind of know what I'm talking about when he comes into the scene. That kind of acting as if he doesn't really know what's going on but obviously he's rather intelligent um, in, in putting all the pieces together. The way the movie comes together and, and shows us um, who the killer is and why they were going about it was really strong um, in why they were doing it or, or, and why they, they thought they could get away with it and what their entire plan was. It wasn't just a case of um, murder for the sake of it. There, there is a rationale behind it that I could understand uh, which I really kind of liked and the killer came as a complete surprise but one that fitted into the story really well. Lots of little backstories between the characters as well, lots of red herrings and who the killer could possibly be and like I said there is a kill early on, there's a long while before you get the rest of the murders but they are pretty interesting, gory, bloody, the kind of things that us Gialli fans just really love. Crazy Desires of a Murderer uh, was really enjoyable, looked really fun again. This this is probably the most solid set for Forgotten Gialli. In fact, they're getting better with each one they release in my eyes. I, I utterly adored this movie from the locations to the inspector that came in to some of the tropes that it relies on, the look of the, the movie, the score. Everything was particularly great, except the opening credits. Oof, those things were disgusting. I would love to know your thought on Crazy Desires of the Murderer. Let me know in the comment box below and I will see you next time on Man V Films.